Today we're going to be talking about a common problem that many sailors face, and that's a leaking sailboat. If you're a sailor, you know how frustrating it can be to have water seeping into your boat. Today we're going to show you how to fix that leak and make sure that your boat is nice and dry. This is the West System 6 Thick in the Pot. So you no longer have to get all the materials together, mix them, get all the proper mixing. They've done it all for you. It's really nice. And it's adhesive. It's, it's proper thick, so it's not going to seep down into the hull of the boat, uh, which was some of the problem I had last time. If you guys can see, we've done this repair about a year and a half ago, and I got the mix wrong, and you can see that some of it's good and some of it's not. So I did basically little chunks at a time because of the way the epoxy sets. You can't do it all at once. The more epoxy you have, the faster and hotter it gets. So you have to do little bits of, of at a time. And you can see we did really good here. We got the mix right here. And then for some reason or not, we screwed this mix up here. So we're gonna undo this today, take the Dremel, pop all that off side and this is a whole crack that's wide and opening up in the seam so this is our big trouble area um, you know we're fine once I go out and if I'm sailing I really don't get any water in the boat but as soon as I capsize or if I'm on a reach and I'm, I'm kind of hitting uh, on a certain angle I get water in the boat that really can affect things um, and how you do out there so you got to be really careful So we've got our drill bit, little thing on the end there, and then we've got a, a Dremel 4000. All right, you guys, so here we are. We've got the uh, 6 10 Western Epoxy. We've gone ahead and mixed the pre-mixed solution. So let's go ahead and apply. Make sure you kind of get it all the way down in there. I just have like a, some people use a rivet. This is just a drill bit that I found laying around. Just something small enough to actually get in the hole, get in the crack there. Should be all right. And then just kind of push it down in there. I want to seal up all those cracks. All right, I think we have it all in there. I guess the goal now would be to make sure you just go back over it, make sure it's been pressed down into the seal, then into the gap that we've, we've opened. And there should be higher in the middle because what we're going to do is end up sanding it down so it's level. So you don't want any spots that are lower than the actual side walls. So we're going to kind of overdo it, if you will. You're going to have a little bit sitting up at the top. It looks like a little house, a little roof on top. And then we'll come back over it with sandpaper. You're starting to see it starting to go down into the gap, so you'll start to see little gaps, which is great, which is what you want, right? But it's just a little higher than the sidewall. We're gonna let that dry overnight, maybe even a couple hours, and I'll come back over it with sandpaper. I'm gonna do the orbital um, sander just to start off, and then I'll go to the to the filer because you don't want to do it too much. But that's it. We'll see you in a couple hours when all that's good morning. We are day two of the resealing of the seams of the laser. It's looking good it's dried up overnight it's not the hard fast cure resin this is uh takes some time so you have to come back looks good really what you want to look for is uh kind of any gaps or anything that it might have seeped down into that side looks really good this side let's take a look yeah so a little concerning right here I'm starting to see some cracks in here too, some pressure cracks. Oh, what was that from? Man, that's not good. 
And then the wearing here too, having the dolly, um, just wearing the gel coat right off. Also in the front, these are all areas where you gotta look out for uh, water intrusion. Cause you never know. Some cracks up here as well. I'm gonna start with 120, see where we'll get. And just an orbital sander. You can also have a fowler. Once you start getting close to the edges, you want to break this bad boy out because this is too much. I wonder what it sounds like. The trick there is not to push too hard downwards and just kind of let the sander do the job. I think we've got a pretty flat, pretty rounded on what we want. Now we just use the nail file here. I'm liking all the cracks, everything's sealed up, looks good. I wish we would have done this sooner. The hardest parts are kind of that inner lip. Can't get to it with the circular saw. Looks nice. Kind of takes off any of that excess. And you're just constantly running your finger over that. When you get nice, smooth, even balance all the way, you want to stop. You don't want to go too far down. I think it's good. I think it looks really good. Go ahead and peel this tape off. See what this looks like. I actually found some resin from the old job. Right there. That, that I never took off. That looks great. Mm, a little bit of tape stuck in. Let's sand that off if we can. Good. Sealed everything up. You see a little before and after. It looks good, feels good. Nice and smooth over the top. Let's see how it's pretty level. I think it's pretty level. All right. It's pretty level. I think it looks great. Heck yeah, man. That was, that was pretty easy. But overall, I think it was pretty good.